Hey guys, guys, check this out. Hey, what is it? It's someone in. So I wanted to share an update uh, from an event this last weekend and share thanks from the city of Olympia to a passionate group of volunteers. This weekend, we got to see the Olympia community at its best, most kind and loving self. Early Saturday morning, a hate group defaced a beloved mural in the downtown core. But their hate is not a story worth sharing. I want to talk about how, what I want to talk about is how Olympians came together to drown out hate with love, support, and action. Within hours of discovering the damage done to the rainbow mural on 4th Avenue, a volunteer corps of community members, city staff, and former city staff arrived with paint and fellowship to restore the mural's message to respect and love Olympia. Thank you to everyone who came downtown to restore the mural and to all of those who lent their support in other ways. Special thanks to our economic developer, economic director, Mike Reed, and former city staffer, Anna Schlecht, our volunteer and paint program manager, for her leadership and passion to make Olympia a place that is welcoming for all. The story to share this last weekend is that an act of hate done in the cover of darkness did not survive the light of day or the love of our community. Thank you. I'm going to be going straight to public comments. I have Anna Schlecht. I wanted to take another few minutes to thank the city folks that responded as volunteers. Very important to point out as volunteers to an act of hate that really struck me to my core. Um, the rainbow mural that I helped to fundraise when many of the people here that were still at were at the city in like 2014 donated to pay for that mural way back then as a private mural. Um, statement against hate crimes that were happening in that block near Jake's on 4th Avenue. Um, a big thanks in particular to Mike Reed, who gets two days off a week. That's the time he has to spend with his two small, adorable kids and his spouse. Um, Daisy Curley, um, Jim Cooper, Ian Wynn, and uh, somebody who's not a council member, but is running for council, Dante Payne. Um, and then Keeley Marino with Thurston County all gave most of their day to clean up this mural. And I can't tell you how how important that is to people like me who feel very targeted by messages of hate. Um, it's it's uh, it's very important that we pull together at times like this. I also want to do a shout out because absolutely every single face that I see right now has helped on one of the downtown paint projects that I've organized. Um, forgive me for calling you out, Annalise. You and your two kids participated in painting a mural that was also tagged this weekend, um, and Mike went over there to clean that up. Um, I, I just, it's so important that we recognize symbols have power. Symbols that are positive lift us all up. Symbols that are hateful make many of us very afraid. So I am so glad to live in a community to have elected officials, to have city employees who respond to such th times, um, such messages of hate with positive engagement. So thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. And just remember, you can call 1-800-ANNA if you'd like to work on painting a building downtown. Thank you. And so we have an opportunity if council members want to respond to anything. Uh, council member Huen. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, so, uh, Anna, uh, Anna Schlecht, thank you so much um, for coming on and for your kind words. Um, uh, and, and just for being so cool. You are such a cool community member and we are so lucky to have you. You are always out engaging um, with other Olympians and welcoming them in to, um, to art projects, um, to mural projects all around town. I get excited when you invite me every time and, um, and uh, you um, put your own dollars to to buy recycled paint. You um, you think about those things, uh, even to the materials that you buy and then where you purchase them. Um, and you just do that. And um, I appreciate it so much. And I know others uh, do as well. All right. I have uh, Councilmember Partially, followed by Councilmember Rollins. Um, 
I I also wanted to sing the praises of uh, the people that came downtown to paint over hate. And I'm very proud of Anna Schlecht and Mike Reed and all the staff. Once again, it just proves that the city of Olympia has amazing staff. But I also want to sing the praises of Ian Huen and Jim Cooper and Dante Payne for spending a Saturday to paint and make this a point of pride. It gets pictured in a lot of things about Olympia. And I'm sorry I didn't join you, but Anna, I will be calling the 108, uh, what is it, 100 Anna Schleck and join you on another paint project. But thank you for everybody for representing the city and doing this and erasing hate. Right, I've got Council Member Rollins, and she, her video is not working, but we can, we'll be able to hear her. Well, first all, about the mural and Anna. Um, just on kind of a community political <laughs> note, um, I think this that the act that happened and then the response, uh, the positive response in the community that occurred um, is exactly the the kind of event that shows that we've got to get over some of the left and liberal divide in Olympia that and realize that they're that white supremacists um don't like any don't don't want any of us that stand for um for race prioritizing um gender and orientation and racial equity so I really think this is a moment and I, I know it's been a rough couple of years, especially, and there's a lot of people upset at each other um, within the movement, within the community. And, and I just say, remember like where our, what, who our real <laughs> opponents are out there. Um, our community's done a lot of heavy lifting, um, our people and our, and our institution. And I just want to acknowledge that. And that's, and that's very threatening to white supremacists and that's not welcome in our community. Anyone that watches my videos is, by definition, a good person. <laughs>